bottom line is uh, when people are out there getting permits, when you have a permit in your hand, you can hire people. I mean, you can plan for the future. Businesses want stability. They want predictability. And a permit in your hand gives that to you. Uh, right now, we take it, the permit process includes mailing it in by, um, by postage. Uh, you don't get a return receipt. You're not sure if it's at the top of the pile, at the bottom of the pile. Uh, you're a business in limbo. This interaction through this portal system will at least acknowledge the receipt of a permit, will acknowledge that where that permit is, and you know if you're in a business and you're running that business, you could check your website uh, for responses from the Commonwealth. Um, it's this type of interaction uh, and feedback and communication that I feel is lacking. A business today is required to file many forms. I mean, we're, we've got certain rules and regulations on licenses, permits, uh, and depending upon what your business is, you may require, be required to file different types of forms with different entities. Uh, what this does is it consolidates all that into one location. You can go online, you can type in your employee ID number, you have uh, security attached to it, and you can and ask a question to maybe Revenue or to DEP or to PennDOT. I mean, you can have your question answered. You can send an electronic question and maybe a day or two later get a response from Revenue or PennDOT or whoever the agency is. We've seen through our policy, through our job creation policy task force, we've heard over and over again the red tape associated with different businesses. And, and this is something that we can do that brings us up to speed in the 21st century as far as using the computer system, using our website, using an electronic interaction where businesses can communicate with the state agencies. And sure, I mean, everyone else is doing it. We're, we're getting to the point where you see even businesses are doing it. Our banking industry has gone online. There's a number of different industries, and this is part of doing business today. And it's something I think the state should do to you know, catch us up to speed. It, it should be very helpful and user-friendly to the businesses out there based upon the communication we've received today.